Alright, welcome back. Um, I did a little bit of off-camera work. I set the cactus farm back up, and I set that potatoes up. So eventually we'll get potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. Um, another thing, I think I've figured out how these saguaro things work. Basically, they won't grow cactus, but they'll grow these fruit bit things. Ow. Oh! That's... Oh! Oh my goodness! I get it! I'm so smart. I figured it out. For those of you that told me in the last episode, well, in the comments of the last video, I apologize. I'm not... I'm not gonna care, because I already figured it out. Um... Alright, so basically what I'm gonna do with these... So I'm gonna plant them like reg actually no, I'm not gonna plant them like regular cactus. I'm gonna be smart. Plant them like that. I'm gonna move it over. So that um hopefully the fruit grows faster and it'll grow on all sides, although that's not really nice. Delete that one. Um Nope. You go there. And then these saguaro fruits, if I plant them, I think they'll grow into the big saguaro cactuses that we see out in the world. Yeah. So. Sorry there, had to sneeze. And I didn't want to blow your eardrums out like I did last time. Yeah. So that's that, and hopefully, hopefully that's actually how they work, because I'm going to feel really stupid if that's not. Um, ugh, come on, guys. Can't you leave me alone? One episode, that's all I'm asking. You did not bother me at all while I wasn't recording. Stupid. Oh my goodness, you camera hogs. Had to be in the spotlight, didn't you? Now look where it's gotten you. You're dead. Don't you wish you'd thought out. <laughs> oh my goodness. These guys are like half health by the time they get through that man. I can literally punch this guy and eat that. He's got some more health, I guess. Punch him twice, but. Stupid zombies wandering through the cactus. What is your What's your damage, doofus? Zombies. Ah, my goodness, you got some issues. Ah. Uh... Well, at least they're taking damage going through the cactus. I just need to build a massive wall of cactus encircling the lit area. By the time they get through it, they'll be like that. And just die. Oh my goodness, where is the moon? Better be setting. Ugh. Nope. I really need to clean that up. I'll fix it later. Ah! Oh my goodness. I suck at this. Um So yeah, we got that all figured out. I'll put a torch there. So I got the cactus farm set back up. I figured out how the saguaros work. That's good news. Um farm some potatoes off camera. And yeah, I think that's I think that's about it, what we're gonna need to do now is we're gonna need to go digging for redstone. Because that's the next thing we need. We've got some copper, it's not a lot, but it's some. And hopefully it's enough to get us a pulverizer, which will process the ores for us so we don't have to sit at that grindstone all day. Oh my goodness, that was painful. Alright, but yeah, hopefully. Fix that. I'll knock down these blocks that I keep smacking my face into later. Mm. We'll dig here. Oh, hey, look at that. Aha! Good luck for once. Fairly big sized vein. Oh, man. It's actually a really big vein. It's surprising. Okay. That's cool. Dig, 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 dig. Yo, 
yeah, so hopefully, and yeah, and then I don't find anything. Find like one massive vein right off the bat, and then nothing for the next half hour. like nothing in this map. Goodness. There's some silver and lead. That's something. Oh, there's some coal. You need that. Alright, so I think we may have just enough iron to make the tool forge. I think we have like 35 or something back at the base. Anyway, I think we need like four iron blocks and then some seared bricks, which I'll go over in a bit. Alright, so we're gonna... Two cobblestone pickaxes for digging out the stone, because we don't have enough resources to just use iron right now. Or peridot, as the case may be. Why is the hell on my hotbar? I don't need that. Get out of here. I'll just use this for smashing ores, because they take longer. Just to keep digging. Okay, I hear some lava popping. Hopefully we don't flood the tunnel. I probably will though, so. Let's hope we don't die in the lava, at the very least. There's some more iron. I hear the lava popping. I don't know where exactly it is, other than it's somewhere to my left. Yeah, it's close to my left, so... I'm not gonna dig that way right now. Unless there's ores there, in which case we'll do that. Yeah, I can definitely hear it. So, if we can avoid it, we will not dig that way. Now, there's some Ars Magica Blue Topaz, which is probably used for a lot less than it gives you. Yeah, you're going to end up with so many Ars Magica ores that you're never going to possibly use, as far as I can tell. Now, I myself haven't used Ars Magica that much, or that often, but... Uh, my friend, uh, Superhoy, he's got a channel out here. Um, he ends up using... Oh, hey, diamonds. Cool. Yeah. Achievement. Yeah, all the chiefs. Make it rain. Make it rain, son. Make it rain. I don't even think that's a quote, but it sounded cool. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm just being... Maybe I'm just being a noob. Total scrub. I don't... I don't know what cool is. I don't think I ever did, but whatever. We'll pretend like that was cool. Just everyone pretend like that was cool and just... Forget about it. Just go, hey, that was cool, and then just pretend you never heard it. That's probably the best course of action right now. A eh, little bit of lag opening our inventory there. Make some torches. There we go. Got some more redstone. This is always nice. a zombie in water, so there's a cave somewhere, but... And lava! Oh, that's great. You have everything here. Oh, there's a cave. I'll, I'll take a peek in here. Take this coal. Coal is never bad. Eventually, I'm going to want to make a coke oven, and we can start essentially refining some of this coal into coal coke, which is, um, I think like twice as efficient as coal. So, I'm going to want to do that. 
swim, swim. Is that a source block? I can't tell. Lock it up. Tunnel down that way so we can get back up there easily. You guys. No, stop it. No, I am not taking damage. You need to die. Grab the redstone. Yeah, oh, and there's more of you. Oh, that's an angry zone. Why does it do that? Why does it say they have like four trillion health when they come down here? They only have part of it. I don't know what's the deal with that. I don't know what causes that. Or if it's intentional or if they actually had that much health and just took that much damage of natural causes somehow. I'm not sure how that would happen, but maybe they just decided to go bathe in lava or something. Ah, there's the saltpeter ore I was talking about. That's the other stuff you can use to make fertilizer. And this stuff, you're gonna end up with that. It's everywhere, and once you get a fortune pickaxe, it's just too terribly difficult to tinker Oh man, the zombies are loud. Uh, sound. Turn it down. Okay. Oh my goodness. I have to kill those. Where are you? Come here. No, not you. I did not ask for you to come here. One of the zombies. I wanted to deal with them. Because they're being loud. Oh, more diamonds. Hey. Cool. Any more? Hey! More diamonds. One cannot complain about that. One does not simply complain about having too many diamonds. Here's some Thongcraft stuff. The, uh, shards. They're used for things that... I think mostly in fusion crafting, I think? I haven't gotten that far into Thongcraft. I hope to do so in this... Ah! Water! Where do you come from? Is this a notch pool? Yeah, it's a notch pool. Yeah, but I hope to play around with some of the mods that I haven't really played around with much on my own in this video series. Zombies. No! We're... I don't need you. I need to know where these stupid zombies are. They're being loud. They're being really loud. Could you stop? Oh! Tinker's Construct Essence Berries. These are cool. And this is basically just concentrated XP. So we can take that. Um, uh, what don't we need? Um, we'll come back. We'll just come back. Because a lot of the stuff we need. Eventually I'll need to get some gold. So we can make a bag of holding. Which is basically a portable large chest with a storage. Definitely work. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I can freaking condense my cobblestone. I got plenty of space. There we go. Well, we got one more space. Eh. Whatever. Well, there. Come on, guys. You heard me hit him. Come on. Here, boy. Come on. Come on out. So that's four. So it's essentially eight gold. If we use the grinder. I'd like to find some more around here, but... It doesn't look like there's any just sitting out in the open. I'll explore more later. When I have more inventory space. No, nope, not that way. It's up here. And then that way. Okay. 
we are going to go back go back this way. I'm going to try to keep these episodes to about a half an hour unless um unless like I decide to just do like an hour or something or 2 hours, I don't know. Maybe if I'm like playing with someone else we'll do like a 2 hour or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'll I'll just try to keep these to about like a half an hour. That way I don't keep you too long. Look, we can see our potatoes on the mini map. It's one patch of dirt in the middle of the desert. Do 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 do. Hopefully, um first thing we're gonna make is we're gonna make the pulverizer. Alright, so that's gonna need some copper. We need some copper. Uh, this is gold, and we're not gonna use steel because that's way more expensive than iron. We're just gonna use iron. And that is redstone and gold. So, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to process this gold. Don't need to process any of the other stuff because we can just use the pulverizer for that. Put the diamonds in there, uranium, saltpeter, peridot, shards, blah. This won't grow in the grow when there's light. So we're gonna have to dig it like a cave or something and let it grow in there. I'm gonna grind up this gold. Technically we only need to grind up two one of it. Then we can just let the pulverizer do the rest of it. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Well, well, I guess we gotta pulver. Well, grind up that last one because it started grinding. Go figure. All right, so now we've got gold. All right, we'll need some of this charcoal here. Throw it in the furnace. Throw the gold over in there. Get the iron. We need some. Oh, we got plenty of sand. Some sand. We need some sand. We need some redstone. We need some copper. So we're gonna take some of this copper dust. We're gonna smelt that as soon as we have a furnace open. We need copper. We oh, we have two flint. Perfect amount. All right. And the other thing we needed was we needed a piston. So we're gonna make that because we have all the stuff for that. Um, we need four glass. We've got the gold. Okay. So we can make this uh, reception coil. Yeah, it's a redstone reception coil. And as soon as this glass is done, we can make the machine frame, and then we'll have the pulverizer. So, boop. Gold ingot. Iron ingot. Yeah, I recommend you use iron, because steel is a lot more expensive. And it's, quite frankly, just a waste. Alright, so we got the flint. All we need is to smelt up this copper. Which we can hopefully do with what we have left. Nope, we're gonna need some more. All right. So as soon as this is done, we can make the pulverizer. Yep. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. We now have a pulverizer. Cool. Now this is just gonna take the place of that. And it's going to function in exactly the same way, except it's going to do it automatically. Now, we're going to need power for this, so the easiest way to do this is um, we're just going to get the... Uh, there's this thing called from Extra Utilities called a furnace generator. It's going to require a fair amount of iron, a furnace, and some redstone. Nothing we can't handle take this iron. Do we have a furnace lying around? No, we do not. We have enough cobblestone to make one. Alright, so we got some redstone, iron block, iron ingots, furnace generator. Bam! Alright, since this is our only machine, we don't need to build any cables right now. Um, so I can just throw that in there. It's gonna start powering this pulverizer. So we can take all these ores we have, uh, except the uranium and the cinnabar, those are processed differently. And we can put them in here, and it'll just automat automatically 
it'll take this and plunk it out right there. Now, what we can do with this is we can tell it that we want everything in this slot, and we want it it we want it to come out into this chest. So when it's done, it'll put the pulverized stuff in there. We can yep. So every when it finishes something, it'll just throw it into this chest. We could put a furnace there or really anything we wanted, but now what we're gonna do is for convenience sake, we are going to build a hopper. We're gonna put it back here. I didn't think this through entirely well, but we're gonna put that back there, and we can just put our ores in there. And if we tell it we want this back side to be blue, it's just gonna take the ores out of the hopper and put it back there whenever it needs whenever it can take them. So basically, all the ores are just going to pro get processed in here and thrown up here. And this has this internal storage buffer that's just going to fill up with excess power. And this is just going to keep running. It's a wonderful machine. Yes. And it can also turn Certus Quartz into Certus Quartz dust if we needed it to. And uncraft these silver ingots and what have you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft these into nuggets because right now we have the industrial craft ingots. Uh, the, these are the industrial craft ingots, and these are the thermal expansion ones. Since we had copper dust instead of pulverized copper, or tin, or silver, or whatever we had, we're going to get the industrial craft ones. Now, since we're going to be using the pulverizers for the most part, we're going to be getting thermal expansion ingots. So it's going to be easier to stack if we just convert these into thermal expansion ingots. And then we can store them in there, and they function exactly the same, except they're, they just stack differently. And, alright, so now that we have that, we can look at this redstone furnace, which is built in a similar way. You know, though we're going to need to go get some clay. Where's the moon? Oh, it's just rising. Dang. Um, pff, we can get that later. It's nighttime. I don't want to deal with these. Stupid. These people suck. They're kind of irritating. And they need to go find a fire. Guys, seriously. Everywhere. Can you not leave me alone? It's only when I'm recording. None of the off camera work. None of the off camera work you give me this job. Seriously. Just gotta knock it off. Okay? It's irritating. Camera hogs. Camera hogs, man. Alright. Now. What I'm also going to do... Oh, no. Not get killed by this guy, hopefully. Nope, I'm dead. Okay. Well, we spawned right back here. Now, the good news is we do have this Gravestones mod installed. So whatever I had, it's going to be in this Gravestone. And our sword appeared on the top bar. Awesome. Get out of here. We're going to need to reorganize this. No, I didn't want that. I wanted that. Boop, boop, eh, boop. And for some reason, they don't stack when you try to put them on your head, but when you drop them and pick them back up, they'll stack onto your head, so go figure. Extra storage space for skulls. Lag spike, okay. Now, what I'm going to build is I'm going to build this culinary generator, which basically means we can burn food for power, which is a lot easy to get, and it's um, renewable. So we're going to need cobblestone, need lots of cobblestone, Gonna uncompress some of this cobblestone. Yeah, just any time you can uncompress the co compressed cobblestone, so it's nice. Um, we're gonna need two furnaces for the culinary generator. We're gonna need redstone. We need an iron ingot and some cobblestone. And then we're gonna get this sur this thing called the survivalist generator, which is basically a cheaper version of the furnace generator that doesn't. It produces the same amount of power, but it produces it at a slower rate. So, what this is going to do is it's going to turn food into power. Now, we only have one machine right now, so it's not going to take a lot of power to run it. So we don't really need this right now. But when you start hooking more machines up, we're going to need it. Especially this, uh, the redstone furnace. Which, why are you guys still here? 
Go away. You are not welcome here. Alright, and basically we can choose to like use uh, cactus juice if it works. I don't even know if that works. Here, let me let me let me see if that works real quick, because that would be nice if it actually did. I've got some leftover cactus just sitting around here. Cactus juice. Yeah, it actually does. Produces about 30 power, or actually probably more than that because it's ticks, not seconds. So it produces about 600 redstone flux per uh, cactus juice, which is actually a fairly large amount com considering what it's actually, how much the cactus juice is actually restoring. So basically, the way it calculates the power generated for those things is it takes the amount of hunger it would restore, and that's the amount per tick it produces, and then the saturation is the duration. So things with a very high saturation will run for a really long time, but if they have a low hunger bar hunger restoration value, they won't produce a lot of power during that time. So that's how that works. And yeah, these things are amazingly helpful because you can like you can burn rotten flesh in it. See, higher pa uh, rotten flesh restores two hunger points, so that's uh, that two hunger uh, two drumstick things, so that's four four points of hunger. But, so it produces 40 redstone flux, but since it has a very low saturation value, it only lasts for like a couple of seconds. Versus if like, I put bread in here, it has a higher saturation value, and a higher, um, higher actually, actual hunger restoration value, so it's going to burn for longer at a higher rate. So basically, the better the food, more power, power it'll produce. But right now, we don't care about that. We just want to get rid of, well, get some free power off of cactus, because we can. Alright, so now we've got all these ores, and we're just going to throw them, no, I wanted to throw them in the regular furnace, get our coal out. Aluminum, and then we've got a bunch of these. Um, the moon's going down. So we'll try to get some clay as soon as the sun comes up and these hobos stop spawning. Um, and then we'll we'll try to get some clay, uh, and then we'll smelt it into bricks and get the uh, redstone furnace. Now, I know industrial craft machines are technically slightly more efficient in some cases, and they can certainly go faster with the overclockers, but right now, these are easy to make. And the power is easy to supply. Because you can literally use anything you can eat. You can use ender pearls. Extra utilities adds a bunch of generators that basically burn just about anything. So it's not hard to get a renewable source of redstone flux going. Which is amazingly helpful. Yes. Um we're gonna put the iron in right now. Do 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 do. So that should burn all the iron and smelt it. Um, yeah, as soon as the moon goes down and things start burning, we can go look for some clay along the bank. Hopefully get some, so we can make that uh, powered furnace. Uh, see, that's... Uh, there. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, so... What are you doing? Get out of here. I can hear you. Get out of here. Not welcome. At all. It. Get some frames. Get some frame lag. Not entirely sure why, but. Don't need that in our inventory. Don't need that in our inventory. Don't need that in our inventory. Yeah, so. Alright, the moon's going down. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go get some clay, we're gonna make the furnace, and then we're gonna end the episode. You're not hostile right now. You, however, are. I want no part of you. No part of your shenanigans. No. Go away. Done with you. Okay. Um try to see if we can find some clay here. You know what we're going to do? 
we're going to use the morph mod to our advantage for the first time. We are going to become a squid. And that way, we can swim underwater indefinitely. But we will be slower mining things because it constantly registers we're flying. For some reason. Unless we hold shift and then it speeds it up for some reason. Squids are strange, but they're helpful. Let's see what's got clay. More clay. More clay. Swimming upwards. All this clay. Eventually we'll have to go on a rampage ridding the world of clay, just so that we can build some coke ovens, which need more clay than anyone should ever have, but why is it not letting me out here? There we go. And we are going to morph back to our player model and hop out of the water and we're going to go smelt this clay into, into bricks and we're going to make the redstone furnace. I think it's a powered furnace. I don't actually remember. Let's just go look up how to make it again. Furnace. Few race. A few, it's a few race. Logic. English. Okay. So basically, we're going to need another one of the machine frames. Which we have enough for. So we've got the glass here. We've got gold. And we've got iron. Got the iron. And we've got gold to make the coil. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get some... We need to get copper, as soon as these things are done smelting. Uh, everything's so slow. Eh. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, um, is there anything else we can make? For the process? No, we need the bricks and we need the copper, both of which need to be smelted. Oh, lucky day. And there's a missing texture. Congratulations, Thomcraft. You have a missing texture. <laughs> Go figure. I don't know how it got there. I'm not sure how that block works or how it's intended to show up or work, but it's a missing texture, so. Congratulations, Thorncraft. You've got a missing texture. Alright. So now we've got the copper. And we're going to need these bricks smelted. So we can take this copper, take the redstone, machine frame, and the coil. And we'll just need to get these bricks smelted. One brick. Two brick. And... Red brick. And another red brick. And we can make a brick block now. Red brick. Aren't most of the, aren't all bricks in Minecraft red? Well, I guess they're not all in real life. Ah, actually, well they're stone bricks, but they're not true bricks. 
They're like hybrid bricks. They're a disgrace to the brick universe. They're just... They're shunned. I was going to say they've been exercised from the community, but it's ostracized. I can't English. I, can't, I was going to say exercised. That's not... That's not what it means. It's not how you English. Alright. So now we've got this furnace. And it'll just cook things. And I believe at a relatively faster speed than... Yeah, much faster than a regular furnace. What the heck is going on here? I don't know. I have never seen that happen. I have no idea what that was. I have no idea what the deal with that was. Or why they're not stacking. I don't know. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we've got clay. We've got sand. We've got gravel. Which means we can make this grout block from Tinker's Construct. And this grout... We can use that to make seared bricks. And with seared bricks, we can make the smeltery, or we can make our tool forge, which is what we're going to make immediately. Because with the tool forge, we can make cool tools. And even without the smeltery, we can still make them out of wood and stone. And that'll be good enough for now. We don't... We can, we can start building the smeltery next episode, because this is starting to run long, but... I really want to finish this. Haha. <laughs> Can I just... No, I need actual the actual brick blocks. Ugh. This is going to take longer than anticipated. So we need the seared brick. And we got the smeltery book. Oh, I actually... Freaking need those. Freaking need blocks of iron. Well, I, I know I need blocks of iron, but... I need seared bricks. Man, I need three of them. I need more grout. Uh, uh, gravel, sand. I can do this in the workbench. I don't know why I'm doing it here. In with the hard connects. Okay, gotta do that. Clay, grout, furnace. Bam. Yeah. Um, seared bricks. Boop. Iron, and we have exactly enough iron to make the four iron ingots. And now we have enough seared bricks. Uh, we're gonna need the tool forge. How does one make a tool forge? I know you need patterns. I can't remember. Well, I'm just gonna make a bunch of patterns. Oof. That's a stencil table. Please tell me it's not logs. Please tell me it's a workbench. Yes, tool station. Okay. Alright, so we're getting all these Tinker's Construct books that I don't need to look at right now, because I already know how Tinker's Construct works. Tool Forge. Alright, so now we have that. Now we need to build the other parts that lead up to it. So we need the stencil table. We're going to need the part, part, the part, the part builder. No, no, that doesn't go there. We need the part builder, which requires a log, which we don't have at the moment because I accidentally crafted it all into planks. Alright, so what we're going to do with this is this plus that equals a part builder. Put that there. And the last thing we need is this chest, blank pattern. Now I have a pattern chest that'll store the patterns. So now we have all our Tinker's Construct stuff set up for basic Tinker's Construct. And we will get started working on that in the next episode. Alright, see ya.